everyone, I'm Jenna, my Instagram is Jenska, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am doing a get ready with me for my last first day of school. I am a senior in college and today is my last first day. That's why it's the last first day. Mm. Great intro skills. Transition to see me get ready. Hi everyone, I am a senior in college right now. That doesn't feel real to say. I thought this day would never come. I literally thought I would never go to college. So I wanted to talk about my college experience and just my journey to get to where I am right now. My nose itches. This is my third college and I am a digital media major, which is also my um, third major. I have this thing with the number three. I just love it so much that I need it to be in my life at all times. That's why I went to three schools. But let's start from the beginning. I went to high school for only three years. I graduated a year early because I wanted to. I hated high school. But <laughs> besides that, I was a very, very serious ballet dancer. A lot of people, when they're that serious, like are homeschooled or do dance programs that are during the day. I was in a pre-professional division program that was after school. I ended up getting an offer to be a trainee at the Joffrey Ballet at, in Chicago. I ended up going through with my plans to graduate early. One of the best decisions I've ever made to graduate high school early. I hated high school, man. It was The thing with being a ballet dancer is school is not something that is valued, really. Like, if you can not be in school, then you have more time to be in the studio to be working and getting better. That's sort of the mentality everyone has. Like, oh, if you're going to college for dance, like, that's because you couldn't make it in the real dance world. But a college degree in the dance world doesn't really make that big of a difference depending on what you want to do like if you want to be a performer then you don't really need it it's more about experience what's on your resume your talent like what you can bring to the table all of that I always had the idea I will never go to college for dance or I will never go to college because I didn't think anything of it it's like those you can't do go to college for dance was the mentality it's not true but it was definitely the mentality I had a few years of dancing professionally, doing my thing, like traveling, doing all sorts of really amazing opportunities. I eventually decided that I wanted to keep dancing. I want to dance in my life, but I also kind of felt like the next best option for me before I got too old would be to go to school. I always said that if I were to go to school, it would be to be a physical therapist, but uh, that didn't end up happening. My first college I went to was out in California. I was a dance major. For me, the audition was like such an amazing experience. I loved everything about it, but I did not love the school. I really hated the school to be frank. The only thing I liked about the program was being able to dance and then the weather in California. So that program that I was in was really expensive. I ended up dropping out because I just didn't see the value in it. I still always would have that little bit of a mentality of like, wow, I'm seriously a dance major in college, like that's kind of bad. It's not bad, but that's the mentality that I had at that time. I was originally in a BFA program and I decided to do a different program and I moved back to Chicago. I did a dance program there. I was a lot happier not being in school because if I don't want to do something, like I'm not going to do it. And that's sort of where I was with that. I had a really tough time transitioning from being a dancer to the idea of not being a dancer anymore. It was a very slow transition for me. I did another round of audition season and I just like hit a point where I wanna go to school for something real, real, as if dance isn't real, but you know, you, you get what I'm saying. I ended up going to Illinois State University with the intention of only going there for one year to get great grades and then transfer to Marquette. It was always in my plan to transfer to Marquette. That's what I ended up doing. I ended up transferring into their exercise physiology program from being exercise science at ISU. ISU was fine. Like I met some like really cool people there, but I didn't go in there with the intention of like making many friends or really being involved because I knew I'd be leaving. Marquette. 
and I almost just knocked over everything. Marquette's physical therapy program is super good. Illinois State doesn't have one. I went to ISU, I got a 4.0 GPA, pretty proud of that, and then I transferred in and I was able to get scholarships that otherwise I would not have been able to get because transfer students, you really aren't offered the same things as incoming freshmen. It's a lot easier to get money as <laughs> an 18 year old freshman than it is as not only an alternative student, like I was a 21 year old freshman and then I was also a transfer student. My first college experience, like because I dropped out and I dropped out pretty early on into the program, like I didn't even do a full year there. It did not impact my college career negatively, thankfully. You might be wondering how I got to be digital media from exercise, physiology, pre-physical therapy. Well, uh, <laughs> ex-phys was extremely difficult. The way that the program set up here, as well as at a lot of other schools, if you don't start as a freshman in their program, they're gonna make you start. I was coming in as a sophomore, but credits wise to the university, even though I had a full amount of credits and they all transferred, they didn't count towards my major. I didn't know that coming in, but I found out and it was heartbreaking. I would have had to do a full four years at Marquette and I was fine with it. It was kind of discouraging, but I'm like, you know what, this is what I wanna do. This is what I've always said I was going to do, so I'm going to do it. Last summer, literally just over a year ago, I was just really not happy. I was feeling extremely unfulfilled. I didn't have time to be creative like I wanted to be. I could have done it like in my free time, but I really didn't have any free time because I was studying so much. I'm a really like hardworking student. Like I will put in so much time and I wasn't happy. I looked through all the majors that Mark had offered. When I finally saw digital media, I was like, that's it. Like that's what I want to do. I'm so glad I changed my major. I'm able to graduate on time, which is why I'm a senior now. My battery's out to die, BRB. I'm back, my camera died, obviously. Let's finish the makeup look. Digital media has sort of always made sense. I've been super into YouTube. Prior to starting this channel, I had actually made a bunch of different YouTube videos and put them on private or never uploaded them or I was never happy with what they ended up looking like. I had been wanting to make a YouTube channel forever. When I was younger, I had a camera that I would bring with me everywhere. I was always the person being like, I like being behind the camera more than in front of it. Like that, that whole like little saying didn't last very long, but I did say that, shocking. I know, <laughs> anyone who knows me now knows that I like being behind and in front of the camera. I've always been into like photography. I've always loved drawing. It sort of just like made sense. All these things that I'm like passionate about, now I get to do that as my major. I get to take classes doing that and it's just, it's super cool. I am really happy in this program. Once again, putting on mascara and talking at the same time is extremely difficult, but um, I, don't, I don't have a butt, which I have a butt, but not like a... Ugh. Ugh. Coffee grounds in my coffee, gross. I changed my major as a junior. Not every program is going to allow you to graduate on time, changing your major two years into school. But I'm really lucky with the major that I transferred into. While all my ex -phys classes don't really count for anything anymore. This program still allows me to graduate on time, which is super cool. Regarding school, I am a very good student. It's less about me being like, I'm so smart, but I put in a lot of time. My thought is if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it, and that's how I'm with school. Like, I'm not gonna half-ass it. You might as well put in the effort it takes to do well. I'm a straight-A student. I did get a 3.9 GPA uh, last fall, unfortunately. I'm kind of upset about it, uh, whatever. Got a 4.0 last semester, so it's fine. If you're interested in seeing a video about how I maintain a 4.0 GPA or 3.9, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I will totally do that. I've hit a point where like, I have a bunch of tips and tricks, things that I do to just make this school year so much easier. Of course the work is still there and it's a lot of, it's a lot of work and it's hard, but organizational tips, planning, Excel sheets to help track grades, to ensure that I am on the right track to get the grade that I want, which is an A obviously. I put in a lot of effort to make my life easier down the road. And if you want to see a video about that, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> Eyeliner, hold on. If I can't multitask putting on mascara, I sure as hell cannot do it with eyeliner. I think I am all done getting ready for class. This is so crazy. It's my last 
first day of school and this is my first time ever being a true senior because in high school I graduated early so okay I guess it's time to get ready for class put a shirt on boom see you in the next one guys <laughs>